fuck it. It is what it is, man. Okay, I'm live on Facebook. Appreciate that. So what's up, man? Drop your uh drop your city and your state in the comments. Let me know where you're coming from. I hate that I whatever. <laughs> Everybody good is working. I that is true. Everybody good is working. And the ones that you find that are looking for job after job after job that you find in the Facebook groups is like every two or three weeks they're looking for a job. It's ridiculous. And we're recycling them because we really ain't got no choice. Everybody's looking for help. So it, it, shit, it's a fucking, it's a whacked out market at the minute. Fort Smith, Arkansas. Is that Scott? I can't even see Facebook. This shit is pissing me off. I got a buddy in Fort Smith, Arkansas. One of the best linemen I'd never worked with, too. Old Scott Miller. Oh, that is. Hey. <laughs> yeah, buddy. What's up, man? How you doing? How you been? I'm still down here in Mississippi, man. I'm on a, the project I'm on slowing up. You know, they're waiting on this government money. We're doing this ADSS fiber. And uh, it, it, it's, I'm waiting on this money to come through, man. I'm like the only contractor here right now working. I like it here. Big old long 450, 500 foot spans everywhere. Um, 65, 70% drive off. Trying not to leave this project because... They still got another couple hundred miles coming up. And I want to be the first in and the last out, which I am anyway. I was the first contractor here, and I'm the last one left. Scott, click on the link, bro. Come on up here. Holler at me for a second. That's what this is about for real, for people to click on the link and, and get together and talk. I can get five people on the screen at the same time, you know. I was hoping this would be something like, they used to have a show called the Sunday Rumble, where they got like, they had like five to eight people on all at once, just talking about their particular business and what they were doing and how they want to change things and where's the work and blah, blah, blah. So I'm kind of trying to steal their ideal, make our own version. Uh, it's hard to do the show though without no participation. What I was thinking was for the Facebook group, I'm gonna do something called the, uh, you gotta pay a motherfucker to make them do it. Do something called the office view. Once a week, have people take a picture. The best office view is gonna get $10 on me, which I figure get your lunch or I cash it to you or whatever. But the catch is, you got to be in the picture. When you take the picture, your face gotta be in there because you know people like to cheat. They're going to steal some good office views and all that good stuff. No, you got to be in the picture, bro. If you are in the picture and you have the best office view for the week, I will cash app you $10. We're going to start that off every week. Got to do something to make this thing crack, man. Um, I guess I'm going to get into it then. Because... Uh, I'm not going to get no participation. I was looking at something online. Kind of made me, <laughs> kind of made me smile a little bit. I figured I'd bring it in. Where we at? What's going on, man? There we go. Them Facebook, uh, Buck Squeeze boy said, not everybody can do it, man. They found somebody who could not use the Buck Squeeze as good as they could. Uh, shit. <laughs> uh, that's 
crazy, huh? Phil. I still ain't with it, but I got the boy coming here this summer and I'm going to train him with the buck squeeze. I have a Patriot. Matter of fact, it's right here. I got a Patriot. I bought this thing years ago. It's been sitting on my truck. I ain't never used it, ever. Pay $600 for this thing, too. But uh, he will have it on this summer. That is a definite. We'll get that boy together. You want to climb some poles and make some money? I say, I got you. But this shit right here, this is some meth head fuckery right here, boy. I would have had a fit if I was running that crew. If I was the foreman on that crew and somebody was driving that shit off like that, oh man, you out of here. We not playing them type of games right there. I'm gonna bring that one back. Let me see if I can bring that one back. This is crazy, man. Phil. Look at them reels. You fired, man. You out of here. They told Scott Miller he had to use one. That's a big negative. Had to use a what? This program needs to get my, uh, I'm going to have to holler at them. They got a problem with seeing my, I'm telling you, this thing says Facebook user. It does not show me a name at all. And I cannot get into my Facebook live for some damn reason. So it's weirdo. <laughs> Now look at that. God damn it. Ground hands. Hey man, when you own that rope for that lasher, you should be looking in triangles. If you're on this side, your line should be going up like the side of a triangle. If you, and I'm not talking about, a, what is it called? A, that's some crazy triangle. Anyways, when your rope is going damn near horizontal, that's a problem, man. And this young fella right here just slung that lasher across there. Let me see that. Zoop. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. I would have had a fit. That shit, I'm sure it's... Let me see if I can zoom up. Oh, look at that. I know some of y'all don't care. I get it. It is what it is. Halfway through that picture, that looks like shit. Uh-uh. We build pipeline around here, man. Get them sticks and get them wee walls out of my fiber. <laughs> like I said, I know a lot of you guys don't care. you like, man, fuck that shit. It all pays the same. Oh, now, you know, Scott, you know damn well we're not using no butt squeeze, man. Now, when I do my TikTok, all them fiber guys, they be, they talk so much shit. They fiber fairy, uh, uh, where's your buck squeeze? Uh, we're going to call OSHA. Uh, I'm like, y'all some haters, man. Just because you got somebody on your ass all the time. Shit. At this point in our career, we're in demand. When somebody said, I seen the vice president of the company that I'm working for right now, and I told him straight up, I ain't wearing no damn buck squeeze. And he looked right over at me and he said, I ain't wore one either. <laughs> That's when I know he was good. I was like, yeah, 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 just let me work. I'm going to get it done for you. 
I'm going to get it done. Mm, mm, mm. Hell of a crew. Now, this one here. I always wanted one of these right here, man. And just come to find out, these guys is from Missouri. So I was like, good God almighty. Look at that thing. Now, that's beautiful. Mm, mm, mm. And you know they're not using it for the uh, winter time because it's summer. Look at that thing, man. I don't know who these guys are right here. But that's some nice equipment there, son. Nice equipment. Oh, shit. Uh... That way. And now let's go out and prove everybody right. We know we're better than you. We don't give a fuck if you know it or not. We don't, we don't give a shit if you give us your best game. We're going to give you our best game, and we're going to beat the fuck out of you. How's That's that? That's my type let's of guy right it. there. That's what I'm talking about. I haven't climbed a pole since they told me that. Did you go into management? Is that what happened? You running crews now? You're not, uh... You're not in the field no more? I remember that's what you were doing for a minute. You know me, I ain't coming out the field. I can't help it. I cannot be a yes man. I cannot be politically correct. I can't do none of that shit, God damn it. We gonna go pole for pole, and you better keep up with my old ass. Or oh, I'm docking your pay, man. <laughs> <laughs> That's just how it is. I, I ain't docking you. Just ain't. I'm not fifty fifty splitting you. That's what I mean by docking your pay. Shit, if you half my age and half my weight, and you can't do half the work, I got to eat, man. Quality control is hard for me. I get it. I get it. What's gonna suck about this is if this project kicks back up. And I get to bring in, you know, I've been slowly piecing all my equipment back together. I got four trucks ready. If I bring in four trucks and then bring in some extra crews, I'm fuck around going to have to get out the field just to make sure everything's running right. And that's I'm not looking forward to that at all. I don't want to be one of them guys. <laughs> Randy Man told me, T, don't come out the field until you have to. And I live by that. Don't get into no supervisor jobs, none of that shit. I've been offered project manager all the time. I don't want it, man. 100 grand a year to run the show. I don't want it. I can do better out here in the field. I'm going to have to call Lou. I'm going to have to call one of my, see if I can get one of my partners to pop up on screen on the, uh, pop up on the podcast. Because I know he, I know he busy too. God damn it. I got this guy that used to work for me. You know who he is. I'm not going to say his name, though, no, but this motherfucker keeps texting me, man. He was the drunk that showed up on the job that was on cocaine and uh, pissed me off when we was in Arkansas. <laughs> but he likes to text me a lot, tell me about what's going on in his life. And I never respond. I should call old Remy, see what he's doing.
So where's the work at, man? Somebody, anybody, where's the work at? Who is on a good project that is paying good? Oh, yeah, you know who. You definitely know who. I'm going to call old man Lou. See how he doing. I'm going to call him live on the show. Now, this guy here, the legend. This guy here helped create the Jackson Bender. Uh, let me see if I can get him to tell a story. Let me see if I can get him. To... See if I can get him on the phone. I might not be able to get him now. Hope he ain't listening. I'm sorry, the person you were trying nope, to I can't get him. Good God Almighty. But he helped create the Jackson Bender. <laughs> Damn it, man. I got to get him on next week. I'm going to have to start scheduling people to come on because I can't depend on y'all to come in. I'm going to have to schedule this shit. Eventually, it'll turn out right, though. I figure I already thought about it in my head. It's going to take about 20 shows, 20 podcasts for it to line itself out. Uh, let me call this old guy. Now, this is a crazy motherfucker right here. Twill. What's happening? What are you doing? Uh, nothing live in the podcast, man. Just calling to see what's up with you. No, I'm in Tennessee. I'm doing a uh, uh, co-act. What? Oh, yeah, I hate it. Damn it, You know, Tennessee, and guess what? The fucking... Uh, the Peter Jan and Alive, Peter Alive. Uh huh. All, you know, it's, there's no, there's no, uh, there's no, there is short leg, like, uh, 300 foot, uh, 6.5 going to a 7 air. But, uh, uh, even the long leg, it's 875, and, uh, it's not accessible, you know what I mean? The hours around 90. So, <laughs> definitely, uh, oh, I hate it. I hate it. Oh man! But it, 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 but it pays by the hour. You know what I mean? You still working hourly? Yeah. Good God Almighty! Are, hey. you, are you in St. Louis? Nah, I'm not at home. I'm still down here in Mississippi, man. Yeah. Willie, hang on. Yeah. Willie, Twill, right? Yeah. I'm talking Twill. Of course you are, what? man. Why are you saying you're at a home in Mississippi when your home is uh in St. Louis? No, I said I'm still working in Mississippi, bro. I'm still down here working. What are you doing? Where you at? I'm in the same spot, man. I ain't left nowhere. What are you doing? You doing uh I am doing drops? No, I'm doing uh I'm doing recoveries. I'm doing uh, stubs. I'm doing uh, relocates. Okay. How was that? You still, you still with Stacy? No, 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 no. I got my own oh, contract. So that's why I told you. So what happened to uh, that uh, that house, uh, the the job in uh, uh, west of. Uh, Laurel. It ain't started yet. It ain't started yet. That's what I'm waiting on. Okay. Yeah. Me too, man. I'm, 
I'm just that's why I still got my apartment in Mississippi. Oh, you still got your place? Yeah, I still got a place over there. In fact, tomorrow is the first. I got paid the rent. I know you got a truck yeah. up there, uh, off of uh, right by that damn Love's truck. I seen one of your trucks up there sitting at the shop. Uh, you mean uh, at the uh, Stacy's yard? No, it's got a big ass creek sign on it. I think that's one of your trucks. Yeah, 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 yeah. The small one, the small one, right? What's up, Elio? Yeah, yep, yep. Yeah, and, and, yeah, yeah. It, it's it's still over there. Well, it's been over there since uh, Mar- uh yeah, uh, since uh, uh, January, February first. You know what I mean? So, who are you working for now, man? I'm working for uh, for, 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 what's his name? Uh, Sean King. Okay. Okay. You know, Scott, Scott King. Yeah, yeah, I know who he is. You know what I mean? Uh, five years, uh, so he's trying to pay me back a little bit of money that he owes me. Uh, he still owes me. Uh, I'm going to cut this conversation work. off. 10 days. We did 10 days of work in a... Uh, As to what... Hey, let me... Uh, let, hey, hey, I'm live on my show, man. Let me, let me, let me call you back. I'm on YouTube and Facebook. I'm live on my show. I'm trying to do Oh, man. What's going on? Yeah. I'm trying to figure out when I can get you on my podcast, man. Oh, you broadcast? I don't know. My old boss tried to talk me to go back to work last week. Oh, yeah? He got a job in Gainesville, Georgia, or Gainesville, uh, Florida. Oh, that's a decent area. Yeah, it's all underground, 100 miles. Damn it, man. So, it's just putting pipe in. No fiber. Yeah, we might get the fiber, but the, right now the customer wants to do the fiber themselves. Pull to the pipe. So, somebody, so you guys are going to be looking for some underground crews, huh? So he's got them lined up already. Damn. All he needs is me down there. <laughs> nice. But. I'm not sure I want to go back yet. You still lounging around, huh? Yeah. Hell, I talked to a local contractor doing some work for the phone company up here to build fiber to the home. And uh, they pay the line for them at $35 an hour. And just to start the ground hand off at 17 bucks an hour. Uh-oh. Where is this at? Well, the company's out of Athens, Ohio. But they got four nice T-40s they've been running. Hmm, maybe, yep. maybe I could find you some ground hands and some linemen. I'm pretty sure I could find some guys that'll work for $35 an hour. I won't. Uh, yeah. That ain't bad money. No, hell no, it ain't. So I was just sitting back thinking, man, I remember you talking about that damn, uh, um, that Jackson Bender. Remember that story you told me about the Jackson Bender? Yeah, yeah. What had happened now? You said you were out there doing what? Well, I got out of school and I was in wood shop and we got the idea was we're putting up dual 750 and was having to hold two bicycle wheels, make the old fashioned loops back in the day and hold 750 in there. So I talked to my boss and it was, he was Ward McCoy in Wesley Lake. It was some foreman of the crew. We talked about it. I said, well, in shop class, we use these vices. It's cramped down to hold this shit. So we come up with something like that. That We did that job with it. Then Jackson came down and looked, well, see what we were doing. And he had a guy that was a engineer that worked for him. Mm-hmm. And didn't know nothing about cable TV. He was just an engineer that built shit. And he looked at what we did. And he came up with, you know, the round bending board for Jackson. And then they refined it later down the road to make the square loops. Okay. So, and you say y'all used to use bicycle tires? Rims. Yeah, rims. Got I mean, 20 inch bicycle rim and two. And that's how y'all put loops out. in the cable. Yeah, you would groove it out at the top so it would fit in the strand. And uh, the piece of lash wire and threw one of the spoke holes and made a loop in it and then you just hang it off your belt and climb up and down the pole. That's how you made it. You know, everybody's loop was pretty much uniform then. Damn it, man. 
Now that's innovation. I've been thinking about that since you told me that story. I'm like, yeah. good God Almighty. I swear everybody did back in the day was use bicycle rims or they'd get a, go to a wood shop and have them build the round board. And, you know, then the Mullins board came out and copied the Jackson, you know, did that with feeder. That was that fiberglass hand bender. Yeah, you said the guy came out, seen what you were doing, and he he said he was going to bring you something. He brought you a bender. You tested it out, and you were like, yep. okay. Well, I was doing a, a 90 in mid-span, and I took their clamps off to hold the cable and moved them to the outside and put aerial clamp, put, you know, pole clamps on it, the two in the middle, and hung it up on the strand, and I took my uh, bridle for my lasher and tied it to the bottom of the 90 and run it on the opposite side going out and tied it off with a piece of bug nut. And he asked, what, what what am I doing that for? I said, when you pull it, the corner, the bottom wants to slip up. So if you run that through there at the bottom, which you don't, you're not using the cables anyway, just run it through there and tie it off and pull it out and hold it firm. That's when he came out with that, uh, little L-shaped arm to go out to hold them, things like that. Okay. Piece of metal. Um, and then he brought me this one time they came down, I was working Long Island, brought me a cable jig. It was two foot long. And, and it held 16 cables. What you talking about, like an airplane jig? Yeah, but it was round at the back end of it and it was two foot long. And it and held 16 cables. 16 cables. We, we had a job in Ansonia. It was 24 cables. On one piece of strand? Yes. 24 412s. Good God. Well, 412s, those was, are pretty small. Uh, yeah. And I, I worked that job. The 412s is outside your damn pinky. I would I hate to have been a splicer a on that job. All, all the cable reels came color-coded. Get the fuck out of here. Yep. Everyone had a certain color code uh, ring on them. So it, the hard job was being the foreman having set up so many. You had to, you had to probably take out 10 trailers set up different locations. Every location had different amplifiers, different cables got cut. That was a pain in the ass. So you might pull out, you know, you take 10 trailers out and it'd take you a day to pull all them reels out then lash them back. But you can't lash off the back because you have more cable to put up on the other ones and you didn't pull the remaining 12 cables or so. So yeah, it was a fun <laughs> job. You know, hey, I'm sure these, these linemen today, today would have been bitching. It. Good God. Yeah. Well, we got paid by the hour back then too. Okay. I'm, but you were still throwing it up, I bet you. Yep. Yeah, I can imagine. Back like no. then, people still had goddamn pride. I don't care if you were getting paid by the hour or not. You were still knocking yeah. it out. Regardless, every day you put a real strand up. That's right. Yeah. No bucket and, trucks. And they were, no, and they were getting almost a dollar a foot for strand back then. In what year? Back in the early 70s. Richard Jackson was getting, getting 95 cents a foot for strand, but he was getting. And we still ain't getting that in 2023. Yeah. Yeah, because cable TV was relatively new back in 72. So they were paying outrageous prices. And back when you went on a job back then, they would give you $5,000 for moving costs to get your equipment there. Or 10000 In the 70s? Yeah, early 70s. <laughs> they don't do that shit no more. No. Good God, that was, I guess $5,000 in the 70s is more like $20,000 today. Yes, yes. Just to get to yes, the job. The gas was only 17 cents a gallon back then. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, buddy. Everybody that don't yes, got an old guy to talk to, you need to have some mentors, man. Definitely. Not today. No, nah, it's uh, shit. It's about to be five dollars a gallon here again soon. Yeah, for diesel. So you staying busy? Mm, 
Not really. I mean, I can't even keep no help because there's not enough work. I should, the last two weeks, I've been, I probably done put up about 15,000 feet by myself. Okay. <clears throat> I got Malcolm still. He comes in and help me if I get a big run. I had a 288 run going through, uh, through town there. He helped me get that up. But yeah, um, anything you heard? Anything else about the Missouri job? They issued the same contractor that got the the one out in uh, Minnesota. Minnesota, yes. And that Minnesota job is uh started up, hasn't it? It's supposed to get started any time, and so the other job. Now Mike's got it by his name and number. He's going to give them to the contractor up there. He supposedly he has 4,000 employees. Oh, shit. Well, he ain't going to need no help. That's kind of what I thought, too, when Mike said he's got 4,000 employees. And I looked him up online, well, and then went to, it brought me to LinkedIn. And everybody bitched about him. So they go through a lot of people. People go there, go to work, and just to only find another job. What it sounds like. Yeah, that's everywhere now. Sure, they don't pay them overtime. They don't pay them no extra, no vacation time, no sick time, nothing. Mm. They're all, and, and they get 1099 at the end of the year, so they're all subcontractors. Each employee is a subcontractor. I hope, they, I hope they're getting paid by the foot. Yeah. Okay, well, you can't complain about uh, that. Mm-mm. Well, I keep hearing... Uh, that this job's going to pick back up. So I'm just waiting. Uh, you know, I've talked to Mike several times, and they're just waiting for him. Government money. Get the financing and get get moving, but they're moving slow. Yep, yep. So I got a friend of mine who got some work north of there and south of there, fiber. Hmm. You, you who, get to where you need some. Who don't you know? Hey. Before I, before I get off the phone with you, didn't you say you know somebody in uh, Georgia who could uh, rebuild a? I want to get my T forty mounted on a brand, uh, almost yeah, brand new yeah, truck. Yeah, I do. Okay, well I got two T forties and they're both. I uh, want to. I'm sure it can make one decent one for sure. Yeah. Get it mounted on a, on a probably about a 2016 International. So, okay. So he wouldn't have no problem oh. putting the arbor bar on the back and all that stuff. No, no, okay. no problem with that. Okay. That all comes off of the unit. They don't. It's not attached to the truck frame. That's attached to the unit. Okay. You yeah, already have them on there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It comes off of the unit. Wow. Okay. Right on. Yes. Well, I hope you're enjoying your uh your time off, man. Don't don't stay down too long. I know you need some rest, but we, but, we yeah. If you run low on work, I need some work. We make some phone calls for you. All right, right Thank on. You well, I appreciate. He's got you. two jobs in Mississippi. He's got, I think, two jobs in Georgia. Also. And he's needing contractors. Yep, that's my buddy of mine. I just talked to a buddy of mine. You know Roger Kennedy, Kennedy Cable. No, I don't. Oh, they've been around for years. I've known Roger since I was first got married. I met him. Mm. He's been around for years. Yeah, I'll get in some game here now. People. I mean, he's like pretty good guy. I mean, he's he's got Roger's got to be getting close to eighty. Damn it, man! But his son's, you know, his son's uh, James Kennedy, and he's uh, running it. But Roger. Roger's a good salesman, and James gonna learn how to do all that stuff. Right on. But Roger, you know, he won't get out. He's like Fred. Fred and him are good friends. My old boss, and Fred's seventy. Well, he's seventy-four now. He just turned seventy-four Friday. Hey, and being a lineman, you him. you'll live pretty long, huh? Yeah. <laughs> so. That's right. All right, well, man, it was good to hear from you, Ella. I'll get back with you. Uh, and I, I got you on the podcast. Okay. 
<laughs> I would get you in here one day to get you on a live face so I could do an interview with you, Lou, because you're an interesting person, man. You got a lot of knowledge. Need to share that. All right. Right on. All right, well, I'll talk to you. Okay, bye. All right, bye. Hey, man, get you, get you a mentor, man. Get you somebody who... And I ain't talking about no crackhead, no drug addict. I'm talking about somebody who's got a good reputation, man. Somebody's been doing this for a while, man. That's what type of person I want to be when I'm in my 60s and 70s. I want somebody to be able to call me up and I know everything that's going on. I just somebody like that, man. Learn what you can learn. You know, it's some... It's, <laughs> Yeah, crazy. And, and I hope his number didn't show up on my podcast because I don't want nobody calling him, and I think it did. Damn it, man. Um, oh, Elio, so I miss your blogs, man. Yeah, I miss them too. It just, uh, everything's getting monotonous, bro. Uh, you know, you can only, you can only, put up this self-support fiber so many times the same way before, you know, even I don't want to see it no more. I want to, <laughs> I might go to the local cable company and grab me some, uh, some cable, man. I brought one of my lashes with me and didn't know cable in years. I kind of miss doing cable. Wouldn't mind throwing up some, some six and a quarter, some end of the line splicing it in. I don't want nothing too major, just something to do some extra work that would give me some content, some footage. Uh, but yeah, man. Good God Almighty! It's seven thirteen. I think I've been going long enough. K M N L. Good to see you, brother. I appreciate that, man. I appreciate that. It's good to be back. I just um, my next venture is getting this podcast together. It sucks right now. Trust me, I get it. But I'm going to get it together. But, uh, hey, y'all, uh, episode two, I think it was better than one. And I think three going to be better than two. Until next time, be safe, stay safe.